peg up at the top. That's very rugged. Look how that uh, river winds along. The, the slopes there go up 800, 1,000 feet, almost straight up. Uh, it's just amazingly rugged. I've been through it on a train. I have not stopped and, and toured it. And down at the bottom, the Crow's Hermitage, the one we just drank, is that large orange spot right above Cornas. So that is the Rhone Valley and uh, the northern Rhone. That's all the Syrah grape. That's grape, uh, the red, the first red. And this comes from Wine Spectator. The, they had uh, this in a so Syrah and Viognier, Arsan, Rosan. And this shows you the hill, Hermitage Hill. Um, I hope you'll see some of that sunlight. Uh, Hermitage comes from, uh, there was a knight who lived there. Um, and I'm just showing you quickly some of these. Regal is the largest uh, producer. And I hope we'll taste some of his La La wines. I'm going to certainly ask. Because where else are you going to taste a wine that costs four hundred dollars a bottle? Rigaud, that's that's his property there. Southern Rhone is where Chateau Neuf de Pop is located, and Tavel. If you look care carefully at that, you'll find Tavel in there on the left, lower left. Chateau Neuf de Pop is the most famous of those, 13 great varieties. And I, I would kid my students and say, now you have to memorize all 13 of these great varieties, but you don't. They just remember that Chateau Neuf de Pop is a blend, Grenache predominates in it, that very fruity red wine. And uh, Morvedra. And this is a general map of the areas we're going, and that's worth probably looking at for a minute here, just so you can see that Marseille is right below what we would call Provence there, and uh, Bandol is uh, on the coast going towards Coulon. And we're going to go up to Ixon Provence, Aixon Provence, and we're going to go up to Avignon, see Avignon going up the way there. Um, and if you go over to Nice, you're in the French Riviera. That's where things cost you a lot of money. <laughs> and you can uh, actually get up into the Alps if you go north from the Rhone. So that's, that's the region we're going to visit and uh, travel along that coast of the Mediterranean. Avignon, here's just a photo. There's a bridge at Avignon.